So this is the cupboard where the hot water tank is located. That's the um, hot water that comes from the heat pump into the outer tank, the in-tank system. Um, at the top is cold, let, cold water inlet to the inner tank and hot water to the outer tank. Um, and there is the, the spec sheet for the tank. <coughs> Up there is the hot water, domestic hot water circulation pump, which is connected to a timer. It's very high tech, don't know why it's not more high tech than that. And uh, as you can see from the notes there, towel rail and hot water pump. So it pumps hot water on the system, including the towel heaters in the bathrooms, which we don't put on very often. Then we have a timer that's no longer in use, and then an immersion heat timer controller. And that wire goes down and connects the immersion heat at the bottom of the tank. And then over here is the EcoDan heating system. So that's the EcoDan controller box, and then the timer that we use for controlling when hot water and the cold water and the um, uh, under four heat comes on. So, <clears throat> one second, darling. Um, so here we have the manifold, which comes direct from the heat pump. No, I can't get the light right. And we've got the first floor heating, ground floor heating, and hot water. So that's the pipe I described earlier on. And those, I don't know why I can't get some um, there we go. Um, so that's the manifold there, and then you've got the return um, down below there, and that goes out into the garage where the pipes run to the heat pump. So um, <clears throat> I recently had this tank replaced. Um, it was full of water, and I suspect I've got a problem with this tank now. Um, this pressure gauge keeps on showing the pressure system keeps on dropping. I mean, that's gone down from that red line down to there in a matter of um, an hour, I think. And yesterday I filled it up and it was down to zero when we got home. Just had a hot, just had a bath. So I think quite a lot of hot water's been taken, domestic hot water's been taken out of the tank. But I believe that the pressure relief valve is faulty and that's why we're losing pressure in the system. I'm hoping that that's the main issue, the only issue with the system. Or at least get it back to how it was and how it was performing before, let alone the potential wiring issues, which I'm hoping you can help with. Okay, thank you.